What's up everybody? Today I've got an unboxing to do, of, uh, an unbagging to do of the Revo Easy Probe Boron. We're going to open this thing up and see what's inside. This will be a quick video. Just going to see what it is. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like this video. We will be putting this in one of these machines behind us soon, so watch out for that video. So let's open this up and see what we got inside. And here we go. Drum roll, please. Let's see what we got inside. We've got a ribbon cable here. We've got some screws. Two little screws. Little guys. We got a circuit board here. All kinds of fancy gadgets on here, you know. I'm going to pretend that I know what all those are, but I don't. But they make it work cool, so they're awesome. And for the, oh wait, here, we've got the Bowden tube. Probably two millimeter ID there. And let's take out the priceless artifact. Ouch. Ready? There it is. Look at that. So this uses piezo electric. Um, I believe it said it a couple different ways. I don't know if I said that right, so if not, you can correct me. But that's what makes this little thing tick. And all it is is a fancy word for magic. Uh, at least that's how I want to think of it. So it's the first time I've seen one of these in a 3D printer. You can correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I don't think I've seen this used in a 3D printer before. So let me know in the comments if you know otherwise. So this here is everything that comes with your kit. You get your heat sink here. It has the ribbon cable attached. It's already all hooked up and good. You have a piece of Bowden tube here. You've got your wires. You've got a circuit board here that's going to mount to the tool head somewhere. And it's going to plug in on this side. And over here, this guy is going to plug in. Which this will plug into your tool head. Then you have a couple screws. So that's everything that's included with this. You don't get a, a hot end nozzle or, or heater tube or anything like that. So this is everything that you would need. So what would make me buy this? I don't know yet. I have yet to put this in my machine and I will be doing that soon. I would do the video on it now, but it's my anniversary. I'm getting ready to go for a couple days. Now, one thing that does worry me a little bit is this wire because a lot of my machines back here are running CAN and a lot of people's are or some type of USB, which has got four wires. So, and a tool head board of some sort. There's not going to be enough to hook this up to communicate to that as far as I know. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But I believe this may have to run all the way to the MCU. So, I, don't, I haven't got that far yet, so I don't know. But that's just a thought I have. Most machines, 3D printers, will use it many different types of ways. Some have inductive. Some have a, a clicky type switch which is just a mouse switch that is docked and then the tool head will come and pick that switch up and take it and touch it on the bed in various spots which lets the machine know where that is located and it can adjust accordingly. And you also have options like boron tap that you can build or you can get a CNC set of it that comes down and the nozzle actually probes on the bed. It will come down and touch the bed and as it does that it lifts up and there's an optical sensor in there with a little flag that actually tells it where it's at. So that can work really good that way at a very cheap price as well. So this, as far as I go, I don't know yet. I can't tell you that. I just, this is an unboxing video really. Stay tuned for that though, because I am doing a video and I'm going to install that in one of these machines. Actually, if you want to, in the comment section, list which one you want me to install it in. And that's the one I will put it in. Also, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. We do live streams every Saturday. We do giveaways on there. Filament. We're getting ready to give away a Bamboo A1 Mini with AMS. Make sure you get in that one. I would love to keep that machine. So I'm not going to open it. It's going to go to one of you guys. So make sure you get entered when that comes up. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I will see you on the next video.